running unites our two most primal impulses, fear and pleasure. We run when we're scared. We run when we're ecstatic. We run away from our problems and run around for a good time. You don't have to be fast, but you better be fearless. We wouldn't be alive without love. We wouldn't have survived without running. Maybe we shouldn't be surprised that getting better at one could make you better at the other. All our troubles, hold a violence, obesity, illness, depression, and greed we can't overcome. Begin when we stop living as running people. Deny your nature, and it will erupt in some other uglier way. Practice abundance by giving back. Improve personal relationships and show integrity to your value system. The only way to truly conquer something, as every great philosopher and geneticist will tell you, is to love it. You don't stop running because you get old. You get old because you stop running. The reason we race isn't so much to beat each other, but to be with each other. We've got a motto here. You're tougher than you think you are and you can do more than you think you can. Just move your legs. Because if you don't think you were born to run, you're not only denying history, you're denying who you are. You never know how hard it will be. You never know when it will end. You can't control it, you can only adjust. It's easy to get outside yourself when you're thinking about someone else. Running is the heart of what it means to be human. Way before we were scratching pictures on caves or beating rhythms on hollow trees, we were perfecting the art of combining our breath and mind and muscles into fluid self-propulsion over wild terrain. Make friends with pain and you will never be alone. The heroes of the past are untouchable, protected forever by the fortress door of time. Unless some mysterious stranger magically turns up with a key. Don't fight the trail. Take what it gives you. If it feels like work, you're working too hard. When you run on the earth and run with the earth, you can run forever. If you don't have answers to your problems after a four hour run, you ain't getting them. But one thing about crazy people, they see things other people don't. You live up to your own expectations. They were expected to accomplish nothing, so they could try anything. Audacity beckoned. Humans have a mind-body conflict. We have a body built for performance, but a brain that's always looking for efficiency.
The joy he got from running was the joy of adding power to the pack. Suffering is humbling. It pays to know how to get your butt kicked. Be fit to be useful. Nearly all runners do their slow runs too fast, and their fast runs too slow. So they're just training their bodies to burn sugar, which is the last thing a distance runner wants. Think easy, light, smooth and fast. You start with easy because if that's all you get, that's not so bad. Then work on light. Make it effortless. Like you don't care how high the hill is or how far you've got to go. When you've practiced that so long, that you forget you're practicing, you work on making it smooth. You won't have to worry about the last one. You get those three and you'll be fast. That was the real secret of the Terra Humera. They'd never forgotten what it felt like to love running. They remembered that running was mankind's first fine art. Our original act of inspired creation. <laughs>